I'm back after a long time with another video. This is New Cycle, and I do apologize for being so long. Um, I wasn't expecting to, it was just kind of uh, a mix between a hectic week and just a little break, if I'm honest. But we're back, and we're gonna hope uh, that we continue and have a long run of videos. I do plan on doing three today, uh, well, hopefully anyway, uh, but yeah, we are going to continue on where we left off last time in New Cycle and we're going to hopefully continue to get the positives in all this stuff at the top and yeah, do well. Now, if I remember correctly, we've got the tavern and we've got the m medical shed. And what we need is something to produce mead. I can't remember what it was that produces mead. It it's something, I don't know what. Small work hall, probably. Um, where did I put the small work hall? Yeah, the small work hall can also, but we need honey. And I don't know how to get honey. Honey's there. An apiary. An apiary. Is that honey? Thanks to beekeeping. Yes. I don't want it there, because that's where the... I'm going to put it... Here. I reckon. Stick it there. How far away are we from the new cycle? We can... We're almost there. We're basically going to be there very shortly. Now, work and morale is only 53. And I can increase work and morale above 70. If I do double, plus 10... It'll work. Just for a couple days. It won't be forever. It'll literally only be for a couple days until we're done. And to got increased work class above 70. Because it should then be good. Because we've got health, entertainment, and housing all with 10. Let's get to day 70 then quickly while that's getting done. Okay. There we go, that is built. Let's get some honey. 55 a day. That's very nice, actually. That's producing us so much that we don't actually need to worry about that. There we go. Pause. Get you back down to regular. And what we're going to do then, how much do we even have? 101. Yeah, let's get some mead going. We'll have enough honey very soon. How much is that going to give us? That's going to give us a lot of honey then. 36 each time. Okay. Right, let's get some mead then to get people happy, happy, and happy. Oh, does that take electricity? It doesn't. So why have we got barely any electric? Uh, windmill. We've got two over here anyway. There's not really. I can put one here. I'll put one out, out here. Just to get a bit more electric. End of the year. End of year. Everything went well. One people died from disease, disaster, lack of water or food. 15 new people joined from the outside, and 18 births took place. And a population increase of 16, apparently. How does that work? 15 new people and 18 births. And only a population increase of 16. That makes no sense. But right now, morale is good. Efficiency is great. Everything is going splendidly. And... Oh. What? We're now in cycle 3. That was... Then why didn't it tell us we're in cycle three? <laughs> what the? 
Okay, we're gonna get... I'm gonna get paper, because paper's good, and the technical boot camp's good. So we need 2,300. Uh, I don't know how long it takes to get there. Probably a couple days. 12 children were born this year. Windmill construction complete. That gets up to 65. That's beautiful. Right, mead is good. We got 101, apparently. Alright, that's very nice. Very nice. I'm probably going to need another work, work hall and get one on mead and one on herbal tea. Right, to be fair, we don't have to worry about anything right now. Now I'll go on to paper very soon. Let me just have a little look while everything's getting done. We've got a forge somewhere, I think. I no, we don't have a forge. Do we have a forge? Field camp. Do we not have a forge? We don't even have a forge down. And we do, because we've got iron ingot. I don't know. Where did I put the forge? Am I just missing it completely? Well, number yard. Right. <sighs> right in front of my eyes. Uh, basic mines can be needed soon to get some tin. That consumes 300 electricity. Well, they've jumped up. That never used to take that much. 300 and... Okay, I need... How long... When, when can I get it? That's the, that's the problem. When can I get... Basic mine, tailor for clothes. I'm going to need tailor, aren't I? I need paper for that, so... When can I get... Cycle... There, I think. Expansion. Electric ovens. Oh. There should be something to do with coal. Coal mines and... Not mines, but... Yeah, okay. Now, paper is getting researched. It's nice. Everything else... Everything's going up. We don't need to worry. Hmm, they haven't put us next to any... Hopefully there's some nice things over here. Tin. Coal. Iron. Copper. Or oh, wouldn't be too bad. Where are you even getting our iron from? Here. Here. Alright. So far, so good. I think we're going to need to put some... I'm not, actually. We just need... They should have security, shouldn't they? Don't ask security yet. I swear I've... Did I not pick it up? Have we not got it yet? The the watchtower or something. No. There it is. That's the... Is that... No, that's the water thing, I think. There's the watchtower. Scout skill to get... Um, it's very good to scout skill, actually. We don't need much of any, any resources after we get the scout skill. Because that brings in a lot of stuff. I'm going to need another stockpile, though. That is something I'm going to need. A stockpile. I'm going to put you kind of out the way. I can stick you right there. If I... Paper message from the community. Chief, if we want to build a future in this nameless land and make it last, we'll need people more than anything else. Let's set an aim to increase our population to 100 people within the next four years. The sooner we achieve this, the sooner we can become a self-sufficient and healthy community. An aid? Produce 400 paper. Yeah, okay. We've grown fast, Chief. Knowledge will gain more and more importance as we keep growing. As a community, we need ways to produce and share knowledge more effectively. Our first step in these efforts should be to stop producing paper. Don't you worry, I was one step ahead of you. 
Nice. Now, does that use lumber? No, it uses wood as well. Wood... I don't think will be a problem yet. I don't think we can get someone that can plant trees, though. Maybe later on. I mean, if we're good at uh, resources, the field camp only collects wood. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. We have something over here as well I forgot about. Are you still working? You are working away. There's literally nine, nine workers over here just collecting everything that we need. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right, so we need 850 to get Taylor and Cloves. I don't really want a kiln or a pit yet. But it's the only thing we can research, so we might as well, might we? 140 stone for that, it's quite expensive. Wow. Okay, we're doing very well though, right now. Once we go to 100, over 100 people, we'll start to lose some things. I did. I knew wood was going to be a bit, bit of a problem. I'm going to need another gathering uh, field camp somewhere. Field camp. Somewhere with a lot of wood. Oh, right here. Beautiful. Right here is right. Wow. I mean, he's just got bought a paper. Now, paper is quite a useful resource. So I'm probably going to keep it for a while. Just keep it going. Because later on it's definitely going to be needed. But cloves are very important that we need. So we are going to have to just save up all of the paper. And just get a clove so I can start producing them. So the morale will be happy. Because there's not much uh, there's not much wrong yet. Um, disaster hasn't kicked in fully. Group of travellers will accept those 10 workers. Thank you very much. And we've got the kiln, pit, clay, and brick. Give me all oh, that wood. That is beautiful. 4,000 wood right there. Paper's almost there. So we can almost get clothes. I'm going to just wait and go. Wait, 3,300. Alright, so we need. What is that? That is brick. So we're going to need to put down a pit and a kiln. A pit is... Oh my god, we don't even have that much electric. I'm going to have to just stick down loads of windmills. That's not going to give us much electrical... Would that even give us much because it's all the way over here? I don't even know. I'm just going to put... The, I'm just going to put... I'm going to put them down. If they don't work, they don't work. But if they do, they do. And hopefully... Hopefully it'll give us a few bits of electricity. A merchant appeared at the border. That's fine, I don't need a merchant. Okay. No, 42.6 a day is not bad. That's why we need... Um, to put down the technical boot camp. Wait, I can't remember where that was. It's not here. Is it in utilities? It is. This is 95 electricity though. While active. And he's not built yet now. Where's the other one gone? I swear I put one over here as well. I did. It's right there. Yep. 140. Wow. Hello. Another hundred. Oh my god, there's a. Yeah, nice. Nice. That's going to help us a lot now because we're going to put down a technical boot camp. Oh, it's very nicely fit there, but I kind of want to put it in this little gap here because this is kind of where everything is. And then this will allow our workers to then head into Craftsman, which isn't fantastic. But it also is at the same time. Like I, I'm not going to do it yet because I need to focus on other things. So we will, it will not use electricity because it won't be active. I'll unactivate it. I will put on the pit though. Do I need? Can I just put the pit anywhere? If I can put the pit anywhere, I'll put it over here. 
I think I can put it anywhere. Yeah, cause it just digs on the ground, doesn't it? It could go over here. Mm, I kind of like it over here, though, in this little spot where it's kind of out the way of everything. Is that electrical lines? It is as well. <laughs> yeah, I like it over there. Now give us sand, clay. Will it give us sand? It does, doesn't it? Sand, clay, and stone. Now it only does one at a time. Right, we can almost start researching weaving. We need a couple more days. Days are the most important thing. You need to get through them quite quickly. Because I don't think... I don't know if there's a set number of days where stuff happens. I don't know if something happens on day 150, 150 or day 100 or anything like that. But that doesn't matter. Because we need the books. So we need to go through the days to start researching stuff. Now if I select clay. For some reason we can't put all 10 workers on here. Bloody hell. Now I'm going to... I'm going to... Do nothing. Okay. Okay, Chief, we need proper preparation to sustain our life here. One of the most important lessons of the last 50 years has been that we can't rely on the seasons to behave as we expect. The fickle atmosphere can breed hellish heat waves and freezing colds in any geography. This state has only worsened with time. It would be foolish to expect it to get any better from here. Um, we need to stock up on our essential needs, at the very least on food and water. And this will help us cope with extreme seasonal cycles, as well as whatever else pushes us to desperation. Though we can't be ready for everything, we can at least try and secure our current well-being. That is almost done anyway. Okay, we are not far from getting the books. I am going to end it on day 105. Day 105. That's giving us loads and loads and loads of clay. I'm only going to... I'm only going to max it out and I'm going to get them working on stone, because stone is important. We're still losing wood. We shouldn't be. Let's bring us an 18 a day. Let's bring us an... Oh, that's why we ran out of resources over there. Right. Another field camp. Get set up. Some of the lost wood over here. Oh, plenty of trees. Plenty, plenty, plenty of trees over here. Oh, crap. Fucking winter came as well. Alright. We can now start researching weaving, which is going to be perfect. That'll be in the... We'll, we'll start producing clothes in the next episode. Our stockpile should be done, actually, before day 105. I think we get about 80 water a day extra. Uh, oh, not not much food though, so that might be a bit of a problem. Food is starting to get a bit of a problem. We are gonna have to jump up on the. On the we're gonna need another cook, another soup kitchen. But all is going well. I don't know why the music suddenly went so loud. Oh, I've just turned off my game. Give me a. <laughs> there we go. I just went on to uh, click the wrong button. Right, but the music's loud for me, but it's probably not loud for you. It's probably about roughly the same as what it normally is. Tailor and clothes have been made. Great, we are not doing too badly. I know there's probably some things I could do better, but other things I'm also doing well. I have played this game quite a lot. I've, I've definitely played this game a lot, especially in the last series and this series. Uh, I definitely know kind of what I'm doing, but still, there's some things I won't, and some things that I forget and miss out on. Um, but yeah, that is the end of the episode. I do apologise again for taking so long to come back to recording, uh, but I hope this will make up for it. These three, hopefully I get the third one done. I've done the first two already, uh, so hopefully this one, uh, I can get the last episode, uh, the last video out. I'm trying to do three 
episodes a day like I used to. And I finally got a third series that I want to do. Uh, well, I've got two series in mind, but one of them will definitely um, be done. So yeah, if you have enjoyed, give it a like and subscribe and all that bullshit. Go follow my Twitch, it's down in the description. Help me reach 50 followers so I can start streaming by the end of the month. We're quite close, so please go and follow. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.